Here's the soldering iron, it was taken apart, the handle was removed and that handle had a button, that small red button. Ok, and let's analyze it, let's see the small switch, what is doing. So basically when you press the switch, it should heat up faster this portion of the soldering iron and thus melt faster the solder. Let's see how is that done, why can a switch heat up faster. So this is powered by 200 and 250 volts and AC, there's a wave line in the corner. Ok, and that wave line is a sign of alternative current. So when you are plugging it in, you are using alternative current to heat up this portion. But there's a problem with it, we have two wires here the two black wires, the third one is only grounding, so we are not using that one. And on these two wires, the alternative current can go in one direction, but it cannot go in the other direction. Why is that? That is because we have a diode here. So when you are plugging it in, out of that wave-shaped current, the current can go, let's say, to the right, but it cannot go to the left. So it goes up on one wire and returns on the other wire, so it's going this manner to the right, but it cannot go up and then down on the other wire, it cannot go to the left because there's a diode. So it is heating when the sine wave is up, but it's not heating, let's say, when the sine wave is down, because this portion of the sine wave of the electric current is being blocked by the diode. And by pressing the small switch, you are basically short circuiting the two poles of that switch and thus you are allowing the current to flow both to the right and to the left. So it's heating when the sine wave is on top and it's heating this portion also when the sine wave is on the lower part. Ok, so that's how by pressing just a button you can heat up faster a soldering iron. You're basically heating up this portion two times as much. You're not using half of the time, you're not heating it up the one hundredth of a second, but you're heating it up one fiftieth of a second, because this uses 50 hertz electricity and the sine wave is repeated 50 times in a second. And out of that sine wave, half of it, when you just plug it in, half of it is not used. Push that button and all of the sine wave is used. Ok, that's it, thanks for watching, bye bye.